Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be another haul video. I've got a big, well, it's not a huge one actually. There's only a few items, but it's an Amazon haul video. My last haul video that I did from all of the items I got at the pink chair was quite a large one. So this one, it only has one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven items to show you guys today. But everything has been purchased through Amazon and the majority of the items are um, desk organization items or drawer organization items or just organization items in general. Um, I do have a few other items that I found while I was searching for a particular item. I found a couple of other things and of course, well, I had to purchase them. So if this is something that you're interested in, keep watching, stick around. As always, don't forget to click that like and subscribe for me. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And without further ado, let's get started. One of the items in particular, the first thing that I was looking for that was on my list was I was looking for inserts for my Alex drawer units. So the crazy thing to me is that Ikea does not have specific inserts made for the Alex drawer units, which is wild to me because I believe that everyone and anyone who is in the beauty industry period um, or even does their own makeup for that matter and has a makeup desk owns an Alex drawer unit and so everyone is always on the hunt for the perfect fitting and the perfect size and the perfect little inserts for their Alex drawers and I had not found anything. Now first and foremost, if you know that in fact um, Ikea does have inserts that are specifically made for the Alex drawers or maybe they even have like kitchen inserts or something like that that fit perfect, please let me know below because I have searched and searched and searched. I've Googled um, until like I couldn't Google no more. <laughs> to find inserts from Ikea that fit in the drawers. And I couldn't find anything, but that doesn't mean that I didn't miss something. So if you know for sure, or know of an Alex insert that fits perfectly in the Alex drawers, please post that in the comment section below. And then, yes, like I said, I have a few other items um, that I wanna show you as well, but I did find some inserts um, or containers that I am hoping, crossing my fingers, that I measured properly um, and that everything will fit perfectly. All right, in. guys, so first and foremost, I want to talk about the item that I originally started searching for. So this is it here. Now, um, I ordered these. I think that they came relatively quickly. I'm pretty sure I ordered them on like the 9th and they came on the 14th or something like that. They came really quite quickly. So let me just get them out of the bag. So it actually says that they're kitchen organizers. Um, this one seems to be the sticker has come off or whatever that was in the tray. Um, let me see here. I believe that this is supposed to be stuck in the tray like that. So as you can see, it says that they're for kitchens, but what I absolutely loved about this was that they have the little, um, I don't know how to take them out, there we go, the little inserts, so you can kind of customize how big you want the um, little sections to be. And these actually seem to clip in really nicely, so I'm digging that. So I got two small, and too large. Now the size, um, these are just the inserts for that one. So the size of the small ones on the website, it is, um, I believe mentioned only in centimeters. Um, so the small one is, well, the, both of them are 26 centimeters long, which works out to be about 10 and a quarter inches. And then um, I've just got a cheat sheet on the side here, guys. Like I'm no math genius, that's for sure. So I've got um, the width of the small ones. So this this way um, is 7.8 centimeters, which works out to just over three inches. And the width of these ones are 11.8 centimeters, which works out to be just over seven and, or four and a half inches. And then height wise, they are um, 4.8 centimeters high and which comes to about 1.89 inches or something like that. So I am hoping that these are going to fit when I did the math and kind of figured everything out, 
It looks like I can fit them in both the large Alex drawer and the ones that we have usually on the sides of our desk holding our desktops up. Um, so I ordered four packs of these. Now I am going to be doing a video um, like I said this week or I don't know if I mentioned it or not but I am going to be doing a video in a couple of days um, it's gonna be more like a vlog type I guess of me reorganizing my nail room I know that I just moved up here and I shouldn't be reorganizing but um, I've just kind of been looking around at things and I used to have a little area that had coffee and um, treats and things like that and now with COVID we're not allowed to have that so I feel like I'm not utilizing that drawer or that cupboard unit as much as I could so I'm going to attempt to move things around and also reorganize my drawers and set up some of the items that I purchased in this haul video so it will be coming up in probably next week or the week after I have so many videos to film right now because I do have a little camping trip coming up so I'm trying to get as much done as possible so that I could just be editing while I'm there if I have the time so anyways these are the inserts I am hoping that they're going to fit I love that they have you know quite a few different slots on the side for you to organize and custom make them um, it looks like they come with just two slots per container, which is fine. I think that's really sufficient. Um, some of them I may not even use the inserts, so you can obviously, if you don't use any of the inserts in this container, you can add them to this container and vice versa. So that is the first item. All right, guys, so I had this makeup brush holder in my cart on Amazon for like two months, and I was humming and hawing because it's not a cheap item. And then I saw Sarah's Nail Secrets actually recently posted, maybe a few weeks back, a couple weeks ago, I think, um, that she ordered one. I'm not sure if it's the exact same one, but she ordered one and um, she really likes it. So hearing her say that it was a good item and that she liked it, I was like, okay, that day I ordered it. So um, I, it only took a couple of days. Now I have Amazon Prime, so I know that there's been a lot of people who have been saying that even on Amazon, their items are taking a lot longer. Um, I myself have not had an issue yet, and I've been doing a lot of ordering lately. So everything seems to come, the longest that anything has um, taken to come for me from Amazon is maybe five days, but otherwise I either get it the next day or within like a couple of days so I have not even opened this guy yet um, I'm just gonna use my nails to open it because well I can't reach my um, knife and so don't do what I do people they're jewels not tools remember and let's reveal Ooh, of course I got pink um, <laughs> pearls now I know Sarah I think Sarah had said that she ordered two of these and she actually put both packages of pearls in um, the containers. So I have a container similar to this in my bedroom that holds my makeup brushes. It's just like one small size um, with a lid. And it did not come with pearls. I did purchase the pearls separate, but it still wasn't enough. So I actually found little tiny diamonds at one of the Dollaramas here in the city. And that's what I actually plan to go purchase um, either today or tomorrow. I'm not sure, but one of these days, I'm just going to go purchase a few more packs of those diamonds um, because they really did help to fill the other container that I have in my bedroom. So let's unwrap this. I can take it out of the styrofoam here it's very well packaged um, this is just looks like kind of that um, cellophane wrap or whatever they call it just to make sure that the drawers don't come apart and all those all that stuff I'm sure so this opens up and this is where I plan to put the beads and all of my brushes I'm hoping that they will all fit in here and then I was kind of thinking that in regards to these little drawers I could do my um, wipes um, I just want to see actually if um, say like my primer sorry I just had to reach a little bit yeah they won't quite fit I was kind of hoping that like some of my primers and stuff would fit in there that I you know things that I generally reach for but that is not gonna work so I will have to find a few other things to fit in here besides wipes I'm sure I will have no problem finding things to put in these little drawers but I'm very excited to have this on my desk um, currently I have a container that I got at Michael's years ago um, and you know what it's been very functional and I really liked it but obviously the clear containers just look so nice you know and um, 
I do think that this is a, you know, although it's a little more expensive, it's definitely a good quality. It's very heavy. It's very sturdy. It looks like it's been put together very well. Um, the only thing that I'm slightly concerned about is um, acetone or like monomer, if there's any type of dripping or spillage of anything near and around this acrylic. Um, what is going to happen to it. My assumption is that the acrylic or the monomer will kind of eat through it and then it won't look so nice. So I have to be very strategic as to what I put in here and how I use it and what is near it as well and if there's going to be any splatter or spraying with anything. So I will figure all of that out when I do the room redo and the room move around and desk organization this week. But this is the first purchase or the second purchase. Um, and also I will put maybe the link to Sarah's video down below just so you can see her thoughts on it as well um, and how she's utilizing it. Now the next item is actually an item that Talia has been using and she has recommended it and since I've been doing a lot more YouTube videos and a lot I've done um, you know some swatching videos and things like that she recommended these little um, clear acrylic stands I guess they're little stands um, she recommended them and she uses them for a lot of her filming so you get two packages in here and they are three inches four inches and five inches and there's two of each so they're just little um, they've come very well wrapped again very very well wrapped and again it was something that came what does it say I actually wrote this one down yeah it came in a day these came in a day so they're just clear little containers of different sizes so again there's two of each so I have that one there that would be the three inch one and then this one would be the four inch one so there, and then we've got two of those as well. And then the large one, which is the five inch one. So yeah, so they look like they stack very nicely. Like Talia said, she uses them just to, like in a lot of her videos, to stack items and just make it look different and have different le levels. I think particularly she really likes using them for when she does um, swatching or new gel videos because they're, a lot of the gels are in pots so they kind of fit really perfect you know they're only about an inch high or something like that so she uses it for that so I'm excited to start using this in some of my videos um, and it comes with two container or two packages which is kind of nice I'm gonna see you know if I'm if I do end up using all of them quite often or if it's maybe something I could do where um I give away the other set if I'm not using it, but I'm not going to make that promise yet because I may end up using them myself. So I'm going to move on to the next item. All right, so the next item, it's not a, a fun item or anything new or exciting, but I have been needing some of these um, stiletto swatch sticks for quite some time. So um, these ones come, it's 160 in a pack, so there's quite a few. They will last me a while. And I was mentioning the other day that I, I actually wanted to purchase them from the pink chair when I was there, but she hadn't got her order in yet, so I had just purchased the, the regular swatch sticks. Um, but I was mentioning that when I do um, tutorials, that quite often I actually prefer to work with the swatch sticks, um, specifically when I am doing acrylic and I have to do a lot of filing and shaping and stuff like that. Um, I... I prefer working with the swatch sticks because I can hold the stick and it's just a lot easier to file. For my little rhinestone holder that I use, that I still use, it's like the little magnetic magnetic rhinestone that you put little tips onto. Uh, I use that still quite a bit and I had been using that a lot because I had run out of swatch sticks. Um, but I wanna get back to using these and I actually just did a, t a tutorial this morning. Guys, I've been up since two o'clock this morning filming videos. <laughs> For you guys so um, yes yeah, so I actually use the swatch sticks in the video and I loved it so I've got a bunch of those like I said there's 160 in the pack again they came within like three days so definitely that's a good reason to purchase through Amazon because everything comes relatively quickly all right so that is it for the items that I was specifically looking for or that I had kind of a, they were kind of planned purchases now this is something that I came across while I was searching and again it's a two pack so it came it comes in clear and black so I will just open the clear one and but what it is is a brush holder for your desk 
So um, I actually currently use and have been using forever this little guy here of course it's pink so i have loved it for years i've had it forever it's easy to clean it holds your brushes but i came across this other one and it just looked interesting to me so obviously there's a little bit of assembly required nothing major it's not brain surgery you just gonna stick these guys in here and then put the opposite oh, jennifer you got to put it in better than that and then just the opposite end goes in the other side and I'm assuming you just <laughs> give a little squeeze assembly required I don't want to break it because it is plastic so I'll fiddle around with it a little bit more later so anyways just like that and gonna hold my brushes so I actually think I'm going to like this a lot better sometimes with this little guy I find it hard to grab if I've got like multiple brushes like I'll just I have a pen I'll just put that in there for example it's kind of hard to grab them sometimes because they're st like they're so close together so the idea behind this one I thought was they're a little more spaced apart um, I'll just shove that in there too <laughs> my little um, stylus stylists or whatever they're called um, so I just feel like it's going to be a lot easier to grab these, um, grab brushes off of here. So even while I'm using like art brushes or gel brushes to apply color, I think that this will be really good. So again, I got two of them and obviously black does not really match well in here. Although I do have a black hand rest now because I found one in my garage that I had obviously purchased forever ago and forgot about and my other white one if you noticed in my videos my other white hand rest on a side note was disgusting looking because I've had it for 12 years things have spilt on it I've tried to clean it and it's just no bueno it's just ugly and um I just never made a cover I'm not a sewer I don't have a sewing machine so anyways I found this black one so that being said this black one might come in handy at some point um or like I said with the other item that I have two of maybe I will end up doing a giveaway and give away some things that I have doubles of so I'm really excited though this is like such a small little purchase um and I just have to like make it go together perfectly and then I think it'll be great so this was just sort of a random purchase but I'm excited to use it I do however as I'm looking at it you know there's little bubbles in here my OCD of course is like ooh, I don't like that there's bubbles in there but what do you expect right I don't remember how much it was I guarantee it wasn't super expensive so that is that now the next item um was something that again I purchased this um, I wasn't looking for it, but as I was scrolling through things, this popped up and I remembered Talia had mentioned something about her using one for filming her IG stories and things like that. Um, so I have, it didn't come like this. It did come wrapped, but I had already opened it up because to be honest, I kind of forgot what I had ordered. I had been ordering so many things that I forgot what I ordered. So I ended up opening it and it was like, oh yeah, I forgot about this guy. <laughs> so um, this thing came really quick again, I think. I even wrote it down. I think it came in two days, yeah. And I don't think it was overly expensive. It is made of metal, and this part here adjusts, so you can, you know, put your phone at whatever angle. I already tried it with my Note 10, which is the one that I generally film with, and it holds it very well. It didn't, like, tip over. It was it was really good. Um, I think you could even put a tablet or something in here, to be honest. It's quite, quite sturdy. And, um, yeah, so that's just another little item. And, again, Talia has mentioned it, so when I saw it, I was like, oh, I know Talia likes it, so I'm going to buy it. And the last thing is a very random Thing. Again, I came about it when I was doing some searching for nail stuff um, and they had quite a few different designs once I kind of did a little more digging. It was super cheap. I think it was like maybe $8 or something. So the way that I book my clients, I have full-time pre-booking clients and part-time clients. So my full-time pre-booking clients, I actually book for them. So I used to have this little black book and it has all my clients' names in it and their preferred time and dates and then like when I go to when my books open up for the next session I end up sending them a text and just saying like hey guys um, you know the books are open for such and such date if there's any dates or times you need me to work around let me know by Friday because I'll be doing the booking on Monday and so if they don't let me know any changes I just go by what's in this book 
So my other one had just started getting really ratty and really kind of gnarly looking. I've had it for like 10 years. And so when I saw that this was a client tracking book, now the only crappy thing was that none of these books show you what they look like inside. So I was really kind of making a blind purchase, but I knew that it said that it was alphabetical and that is kind of the main thing for me is I need it to be alphabetical. So basically I have their names here where um, I have their information of what what their preferred dates are, what their preferred times are. So that makes it a lot easier for me when I go and book them. Um, I just book according to what's in here or if they've changed something in the text. Now, the only crappy thing was it did not come with labels. So, you know, when I first was looking at it, I was like, oh, I'm going to have to flip through to find X, Y, Z or whatever, A or B or whatever. So I just created my own little tabs on the side. But I think initially what it is for, I'll show you what it looks like inside. So it says it's a client tracking book. So I'm assuming that it's for, um, like it has their appointment day, their time, their service, their amount, um, just like how much they've paid and things like that. And then, you know, their name, address, phone number, but there's only a couple of pages now. I think, yeah, I think there's only four pages per yeah, there's only four pages per letter. So this really wouldn't last very long. I mean, if you think about it, you have how many clients, I mean, you don't have very many clients that start with the, the letter Z, obviously, but it's just not a lot of space. So I'm not sure really if this is functional for what they mean it for, because um, I think that you would run out of space really quickly. Um, but for what I'm using it for, it works great. I've actually just used it to do my last pre-booking and it works great. And it's a pretty little cover. And like I said, they were super cheap. So um, they do have quite a few other different types of books. So I will definitely link everything in this haul video below for you guys. Um, and maybe take a look at what they have. The only thing that I said, the only stipulation is they don't have any photos of what is inside the book. And honestly, I didn't even email them to ask. You could do that and they probably would send them to you. I was just like, I think it was eight bucks, so I'll just buy it. And if I don't like it, it was only $8 and I'm sure I could use it for something else. So. All right, guys, so that is it for all of the items in today's video. I'm really looking forward to reorganizing my room and utilizing these items particularly the drawer organizers. I'm hoping and praying that they fit perfectly um, and that I can utilize them because, well, I bought four packs of them, so hopefully I can use them. So if you have any organization items that you think that I just need to know about, that it's something that you love, please let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe for me. And if you know anyone else who might like this video, please share it with them. So as always, guys, have an amazing day.